All right, what is going on guys afflicted gamer here back in another destiny video so this week Shax has a new bounty for us called back to basics where we have to kill players and complete matches in clash so this is a nice change from supremacy and we had control a couple times so now we can switch it up a little bit and on top of that what I will do is I will show you guys my last week's rewards from doing Shax's weekly bounties now and the other thing too quickly before I do that guys is you know what are these even worth doing are you getting good rewards for them or are you just getting kind of some mediocre stuff that is well not really worth the time unless you are a full out crucible player that just loves to be in there more than the pve world so you guys will have to let me know down in the thoughts and comments below but let's move on to my rewards from last week all right so last week when i ranked up with the crucible and got the bounty done at the same time i figured i would show you guys both rewards at once so you can see here i've completed a hunt for glory and i'm gonna choose to get a weapons package because i still don't have a very good longbow anyway let's see what did i get for my prize Come on, Shax. You need to give me something good. So I got zero day dilemma and a bond. Whoop de do. Um, at least it was a little bit of a higher light level, so can't really complain there. You know, any light level bump is a good one. And then this, I I haven't seen anybody use this gun in the Crucible. Maybe it's just me, but anyways. So we'll take a look at the rolls that I did get on this auto rifle, 24 in the mag, don't like that, reflex, steady hand, OEG, rodeo, hip fire, hand laid stock, rifled barrel, glass half full, eh, it's, it's mediocre at best in my opinion, nothing too special, I'm gonna infuse that bond right there as you just saw and yeah you know it's i'm still stuck at 377 at that point in the video didn't have the outbreak prime yet so you know what can you do right but anyways now it is time to see what i get for a hunt for glory which is like the third time i've gotten this uh this bounty so i got the 2020 amr7 i was kind of disappointed but it came at void with Eagle Eye for the first scope, which is okay. Long view, Texas, don't like any of those at all. Underdog, nah. Armor piercing rounds is okay. Snapshot is okay, good. Perfect balance and hidden hands. So, I'm not too sure what to do with this. I mean, underdog, if I could get rid of that for something else. Armor piercing, snapshot, hidden hand, they're okay. Eagle Eye, I can tolerate but i'd rather have short gaze or ambush but you know what can i do even perfect balance was uh not too bad of a roll and then i got a blue engram okay then anyway so i'll go decrypt that and you know see if i get anything sometimes i get lucky and i've been getting exotics out of blues like some other people have but it, this is master rahul he hates my guts. He doesn't give me anything I want. I don't know why he hates me. Whatever do to you, Rahul. But anyways, so that's what I got for my weekly Shaxx reward. You know, another sniper rifle. It's even lower than the one that the weapon that I have equipped. But your rewards are based around your light level, not the current weapon at hand. Even though some people say it's supposed to be at least one level higher, but you know. If I'm stuck at 377 and I got a 381 quantiplasm in my secondary, it doesn't mean that that 2020 AMR7 was going to be any higher. You know, you kind of get what you get. So anyways, again, are these even worth doing? Well, when I get a reward like that, no. But at other times, if I get an exotic, a package of strange coins or something else, an exotic, like, yeah sure that that that's worth it you know something that's decent or even even if it was 
an old vendor weapon and it had really really good rolls on it I'd say sure you know and for those of you that do play the crucible more than PvE I'm sure it's no big deal and you're gonna get it done anyways and no matter what you get whether it's good or bad if it's a higher light level it's infusion fuel and if it's good then it's just an extra bonus right so that is how I'm gonna take a look at it so it is now time to dive in on this week's uh, weekly bounty from Shax. I'm going to be using Outbreak Prime, so the review of the Crucible gameplay of that is on the way. I'm sure there's plenty out there, but you haven't seen mine yet, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, that is it for me. Thank you so very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, by all means, drop a like. If you're new, consider subscribing for more Destiny content like this and much more on the way, as always. Okay, guys. Have a good day, I'll see you in the next video, and good luck with your bounties if you are getting them, because I know some people say that they are not. So I wish you all the best, and again, I'll see you in the next one.